Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to print a reverse pyramid star pattern and this is the pyramid star pattern that we are going to draw using the java program so guys if you see it is just a matter of using the for loop that we are going to use in our java program so in this case we are going to draw the six rows in our reverse pyramid star pattern so initially it is having six stars over here separated by the space character and then on the next line we have one space character first and then we have five star characters and then again on the third line we have two space characters and then followed by the four star characters and so on so with every new line over here on the pattern the number of space characters initially are increasing so that is what we are going to draw first followed by the star characters over here so let us move to the eclipse id in order to draw our reverse pyramid star pattern based on the number of rows so guys basically first of all we are going to take the integer row that is how many rows we want to draw in our star pattern so let's say we want to draw six row reverse pyramid star star pattern over here so we define the row as 6 over here and then we have the for loop so this will be the outer for loop it will be int i it is equal to 0 and it goes up to less than row and then we have i plus plus so guys this is the outer loop that we are going to use in order to draw our star pattern over here and then inside this we need to first of all draw the space characters so we will be having the another inner loop that will be going from int j it is equal to 0 up to to j less than i in this case and then j plus plus now guys why less than i over here so initially the value of i is 0 and then less than i which means j will go from 0 up to less than 0 so initially the control flow will not go over here that's because we are using this for loop that is the first inner for loop in order to draw the space characters we don't want the space characters on the first line but we want on the second line so when the control flow comes back again over here when the i's value will be incremented so i's value will be 1 so j will go from 0 up to 1 in which case j is equal to 0 so the control flow will go only once inside this inner for loop and that is why we will be getting just one space character on our second line so we will check that with the help of example later on so over here we will be providing the print statement and then we will be drawing the space character over here so guys this will help us in order to draw the space characters before the star characters that we want to draw in our star pattern now next we want to draw the star characters over here so again we will be using our inner for loop this time it will be j is equal to i up to j less than rho so guys with the time we need to decrease the number of star characters that we want to draw so initially the i value will be 0 so j will also be equal to 0 and j will go up to the row number that we have already defined so it will be 0 to 5 so 6 star characters will be printed initially on the first iteration and then over here we will say j plus plus now what we will do is again we will be having our print statement over here we will be using the print function instead of print ln and then over here we will be drawing our star character and then followed by the space character over here now guys what is happening is first time the control flow comes over here since j is equal to 0 is j less than 0 no in this case so space characters will not be drawn over here so the control flow comes in the second inner for loop and then over here since j is equal to i which means j will be equal to 0 and it will go up to the row value which is 6 so it will be 0 up to 5 so there will be 6 star characters that will be drawn now again when i's value will be increment in the second iteration j will go from 0 up to 0 that means only one space character will be printed initially and then followed by j is equal to i in this case which is right now 1 so j will go from 1 up to 5 which will print the 5 star characters in this case that will be separated by the space characters now guys important thing over here is after every iteration we need to come on the new line over here so we will simply provide the print ln statement so that the control flow comes on the new line line whenever these stars are getting printed so the very first time the control flow goes in the outer for loop these star characters will be printed and then next time when the i's value is incremented these star characters will be printed first of all the space character will be printed followed by the star characters over here so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code 
So as you can see, we have got the star character over here on the console. As you can see, the very first line is having the six star characters and then followed by there is one space character over here. That's because of this inner loop that we have written and then followed by the five star characters. That's because of the second inner loop that we have written based on the eyes value and so on. The control flow will help us in order to draw the remaining star pattern over here. So guys, this is the way we can easily draw our reverse pyramid star pattern over here using this simple program let's say i want to draw the star pattern for which the row is 10 over here so we will provide 10 as the number of rows let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see there will be a reverse pyramid star pattern that will be having the 10 number of rows over here so guys it is just a matter of how do we use the for loop and how do we use the logic inside these for loop basically this is the code that we have to write in order to draw our reverse pyramid star pattern based on any number of rows that we want based on our requirements so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get the different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notification on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to check whether the entered number is a even or odd number so stay tuned